Ready? Yeah, go. I'm here in New Orleans with James Lights Out Lily. Um, James, do you want to update the fans what's been happening the last few days and where you're at? Yeah, so um, we, had, uh, we had the weigh in, the official, we've just come back from the official weigh in. Um, it's quite a short trip to be fair. We came, we like, when did we fly in? Monday, was it? Tuesday, flew, flew in Tuesday. Um, got to the hotel about six o'clock, done some pads and some treadmill to settle in. Um, my manager was here as well, so we just knocked about the hotel, did a bit of exploring on uh, Wednesday then before um, I stopped my food and my water for the weight cut. Um, and it's just an absolute party place and it's really happy to have the boys along with me to get the experience. Uh, did the weight cut, uh, had the official weigh in at 12 o'clock today. Did a bit more exploring in New Orleans and eating and obviously the video is going to go up online but it was the fucking biggest sandwich I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. When when they said a free foot sandwich, I didn't expect it to be. Free. It sounds super, but when you get a foot long from Subway, I could probably eat three foot longs from Subway, no problem. But when the sandwich came out and it was so full, I said, I'm talking about a sandwich, I'm talking about the fight. <laughs> but this sandwich was awesome. It had an alligator in it and everything. Um, and then we had the official way in. So yeah, it's been quite a uh, hectic couple of days, but it's really good, you know. Some of the, like, I haven't stopped laughing. Um, the weight cut was good, we didn't have any stress over that uh, and the whole experience has just been, you know, it, it's like it's an adventure once in a lifetime, you know, it's going to be something we can sit back and say, oh, I went to New Orleans to fight uh, to my grandparents, uh, my, grand, my grandparents, I'll tell them anyway because they're in India, but I uh, got my grandkids and, you know, it's, it's just, it's, I, I, I still kind of like pinch myself a little bit that me and my mates on the other side of the world <laughs> in one of the most nuts places ever gonna have a fucking fight tomorrow like you know it's crazy um you met your opponent today for the first time what's your impressions um he's, he's smaller than i thought he'd be um i know it's like they always get like heights wrong on like like they got me as like five for ten on box right i'm not even five foot nine and a half but like um <laughs> i'm not I'm five, I'm five foot nine dead like but um i i so I, he's not five foot eight you know he's a bit shorter than that he's not as big as he looks um on tv uh and in the pictures but you know that, that's not anything to go by you know you probably look at a picture of me and you probably think who the fuck is this guy why is he fighting bear that but yeah um he seems a nice enough guy no bad blood between us. He's just an obstacle in my way, as I said before. Um, and I just know if I perform to my best, um, I don't think he's got much of a hope on me. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, a really cool thing is going for you too. When I was backstage, I had all these American fighters coming up to me, saying, shaking my hand, saying it's a privilege to meet you. Uh, really wanted to meet you, and that like. Like I'm, I'm kind of one of these guys who like kind of like shrugs off. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 see, Josh is always. Is that supposed to be Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not one of these people who are like, you know, I kind of like, I'm quite chill the whole thing. But it was really nice to have like people fight some other countries come up to me and say, "It's a privilege to meet you. Can't wait to see you fight. Know who you are." And you know, I'm kind of oblivious to all that. So that was that was really cool as well. And a question I know a lot of your fans have been asking you, um, what time can they roughly expect you to be fighting tomorrow night? I'd say it's got to be around 4am, um, we're, we're 6 hours behind here. With American shows they don't have a, the cut off limit like they do in the UK, so the show's going to go on for as long as it needs to. Um, I'd expect to be walking about 10pm this time zone. Four in the morning our time I'd say, maybe if you're lucky. So any time between sort of four, yeah. between three and yeah. five. Yeah, tune in after three I'd say. So either find a pub that's got a good lock in or set your alarms. <laughs> okay, and any uh, final message for any people you want to give a shout out to, message the, the family at home? Uh, yeah, I'm, I am missing my kids, you know, it's only been like a couple of days and I do the same thing with um, when I work away. But because it, it's like a different time zone, it's a bit weird. Like, you know, my, my wife texts me saying, I'm going to bed. And like, we're walking around in the blazing hot sun looking <laughs> for souvenirs and stuff, you know. It's it's mad being in a different time zone. So yeah, I'm missing my, missing my kids. 
Um, and you know, thank you very much for that. You know, big shout out to everyone back home for the support, the mess they've had. Um, I'll put sponsor posts up again, but yeah, it's been great. And obviously, the boys as well for dragging me through the last couple of days. And then finally, briefly, prediction for tomorrow night. Uh, points win. Okay. For me, obviously, not for like a body. <laughs> <laughs> so live from New Orleans, this is uh, Kieran Gibbons with James Lilly. Signing off.